I'm going to show you how to catch all 14 bug snacks in Frosted Peaks, starting with Chili Nilly and Stoodler. Chili Nilly is caught at night, so we're going to go ahead and sleep till midnight. You can find the bedroll at the top of the mountain. All right, once you wake up, jump behind the tent off the mountain here. You'll find the mouth of this cave and the Chili Nilly and the Stoodler are right next to each other. All you have to do is shoot some chocolate at the Stoodler. Chili Nilly will collide with it. They'll put each other out and you can capture both. Bam. Next up is Scoopy Banoopy. We'll get to these three before it later. And these are the three pieces of a Scoopy Banoopy. We're gonna catch a whole one first. You can see it right here. And I already have it scanned to see its patrol route. So what you need to do is intercept it with a trip shot that's on fire. In order to do this, just put a trip shot on top of a campfire or a torch receptacle, something like that. And then just wait for it to intercept it. All right. <laughs> Easy. Next up, I'm going to show you how to catch aggro. For aggro, you need to go into this cave over here, where the two torches are, along with the daddy keg-like statue if you are on PC. Aggro is going to be frozen solid. It is this icicle right over here. So just like what we did with the Scooby Banoopy, put a trip shot in the torch, stick it to this ice, and you will free the aggro. Once the aggro is free, you'll notice it has the symbol on it for a for a grapple <laughs> or apparently you can grab it with your bare hands like I just did but you can also grapple it off toss it and then just like with the the pickle you can just net it once you've removed its little shell next up is chippy chippy is going to be on higher ground so we're gonna go ahead and head up and find chippy so chippy is super easy to capture you just got to be patient we know it's going to come here so all we have to do is put a launch pad along with a trip shot we're gonna attach it to this icicle right here get it as low as possible as chippy is a pretty small bug snack and then when chippy comes on through he'll be stunned you can run up to the chippy if you want to make him run a little bit faster because it does a little dash and grab the chippy there's a pretty generous hitbox on the trip shot but just in case try to get it as low as you possibly can Next, we're gonna go ahead and capture Mount Sodi. We'll come back to Flutter Jam when it's daytime. Mount Sodi swims in a circle right here. Do not enter the water. Do not put your traps in it. They will freeze. But you can put your trap on the edge of the ice right here. And Sodi will get close enough to capture without having to put your trap in the water. Next up is Instabug. Instabug can be found nearby the bushes. If you see a shaking bush like this one right here, and you take out your camera and you see the bug come out, that is the Instabug. You have to take out your camera to get it to appear. So once you've located and you've confirmed that it is near that bush, go ahead and put a trap near where you know it's going to go. Back up, pull out your camera again. Let it come out as much as possible. Pull out your camera, close the trap. And there you have it, Instabug. Instabug. Next up is Flutter Jam. I intentionally put it off because you can see now it is past 4 a.m. If it's not past 4 a.m. for you by the time you get to Flutter Jam, just go to the bedroll at the very top of the mountain and sleep till 4 a.m. But the Flutter Jam will be in the area now. So we're gonna go up high where we can actually see it. As you can see, the Flutter Jam is right here. Now, Flutter Jam is actually extremely easy to capture. All you have to do is shoot it with some sauce, shoot it with some peanut butter, but don't shoot it right, like I could shoot it right now. I don't wanna shoot it right now because if I do, I will launch it off the map. You wanna launch it in a direction that's either towards the mountain or towards the front of the area where you can easily capture it. So this is a safer angle. So I'm gonna shoot it right here. You can catch it. In that case, it fell straight down, but sometimes it'll actually get launched by the momentum and fly off the map, depending on the angle you shoot it from. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to catch the three other pieces of Scoopy Banoopy. I don't think my Scoopy has respawned yet. It has not. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the bedroll up top and sleep. If that's not enough, leave the area, come back in to reload the area, and that should cause the Scoopy Banoopy to respawn. Because there is only one per area. Okay, we came to the top to the bedroll. We're going to sleep till 5 a.m. Anytime works, whatever you prefer. Okay, my Scooby Banoopy has respawned. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop down. Now, very, very important. Remember, we're going to let it split apart this time. And this is actually harder. So, we want to catch the Scooby Banoopy specifically over here. This is the best location to do it. And I'm going to explain why. So, we're gonna put the trip shot here. Just put it out on the ice. Doesn't matter where. At least right now, it doesn't matter where. And we're just gonna wait for the Scooby Banoopy to come to us. While it's on its way, I'm going to explain the strategy, okay? Here's what's gonna happen. So, of course, we're gonna bait the Scooby Banoopy here to touch this trap. It'll be stunned for 10 seconds. After those 10 seconds are over, it's going to go ahead and chase me around aggressively. 
and you need to try to first off you need to be close enough to make sure he chases you you don't want him to chase the sodi because if you're not close to him he will chase the sodi and if he chases the sodi he's going to go into the cold water which is going to give him his cold power back you don't want him so when he's about to not be stunned anymore stand relatively close to him to get him to chase you and you want him to chase you over here these rocks he can't easily get to you on them because he can't jump so just alternate between here and here until the time runs out and then I'll tell you what to do next when that happens. But we're gonna go ahead and let it walk into this flame trap and take it from there. Okay, so he's stunned for 10 seconds. Go ahead and set the trap back, but don't actually shoot it out just yet. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna stand relatively close to him because we want him to aggro us. We don't want him to target the Sodi. Okay, jump up on this rock and he has to go around. Go back down on the rock. Back down on the rock. Back down. Now he's going to split, okay? We want to catch the Scoopy first, which is the ice cream. So look where the ice cream is going. And go ahead and set the fire trap. And then you get the ice cream. The ice cream is the hardest one to, to catch. The other ones are extremely easy. If you don't catch the ice cream before he gets past this location, he's going to rotate around that rock and you don't have easy access to fire there. You'll have to use a lot of chocolate to lure him somewhere. And this area does not have chocolate. This area is peanut butter. So you're much better off trying to catch him right here before it escapes. So that's why we don't set the trap yet. I had the trap set in advance. So, and we, the reason why we lure the Scooby Banoopy here, we want him to split here, is because the other pieces, the Banopper and the Cherry, will go over here. Cherry goes to the bush, but Nopper goes to the tree, but the Scoopy will go here. So it splits them apart, so you don't have to worry about the other bug snacks tripping your trap instead. But just in case, we don't put the trap just yet. We wait, and then the Scoopy will walk along here because the Scoopy wants to go to that rock, so then you intercept it with the trap. That's exactly what we did. That's exactly what you need to do. Okay, so now we want to catch the other two pieces. They are much easier. So, we can see the cherry is all the way over here now. Nothing too special about the cherry. It just likes to hide in the bush if you get too close. So it's got its own little patrol route. Just put a trap in its patrol route. It is very tiny, so make sure you don't lose track of it. Like, if you weren't watching it for a while, it might be easy to forget about it and not be sure where it is. But here's a possible location it can be in. Also, keep an eye on nearby bushes. If it's not an instabug, it has to be a cherry. Okay, so as for the Banopper, it's just going to be bouncing back and forth between the trees. So all you have to do, just like the red Banopper in my previous video, put a launch pod trip shot. It's, in fact, it's even easier. Just put it at the top of the tree, and they'll have to intercept it eventually. Bam! Next up is Melty Snack Pot. I'm going to show you all five spawn locations. The first one is in this room with the double torch and the Daddy Cake Leg statue, if you're on PC, of course. And you can see that the Melty Snack Pot is up here on the ceiling. You'll have to grapple it. Location number two, go ahead and exit and go up the path on the right side, all the way over here. And then right when you start to see the curved path up here with the little rope there, go ahead and look up here and you can see the next Melty Snack Pod is right there. Yep. Alright, the next location is much higher, so follow the path for a little while. And then we're going to pass through the cave where we found Stoodler and Chili Nilly. And then turn right over here to face the front, and you see this frozen waterfall here with the jam. If you look up at the frozen waterfall, one of the little icicles here, you can grapple that. That's another Melty Snack Pod. Melty Snack Pod location number four is going to be very close to the bedroll. Look outside the tent right here. You can just grab this one. And Melty Snack Pod location number five is very close to the stone door that leads to the end of the game. So you can just jump all the way down. And then on this tooth right here is a Melty Snack Pod. Yep. On the far right with the, the door behind me. Next up is Baby Cake Legs. If you've already defeated the Daddy Cake Legs, they're extremely easy to capture. They're just waddling around in this cave. All you gotta do is put a trap right next to them. And then make them not, not stop walking away from me. You're so cute, stop with the waddles. Yeah, then you just catch them. Why are you mean to him? He's already trapped. You don't need to bully him in the trap. Lastly, Daddy Cake Legs. If you are on PC, then you should hopefully have this summon statue right here. We're going to go ahead and summon the legendary bugs next. Take him out. Alrighty. So, we're going to start by putting a trip shot on one of these torches. You can see the little candle right there. We're going to aim the trap at the wing. So, what you need to do is predict where his wings are going to go with the candles. And you need to aim it at the just the right level, so when he walks into the fire trap, it lights him in the wings. So it lights that one. 
Now it gets a little bit harder once you've already lit one because he can walk in really weird directions. You need to try to predict where the second wick is gonna end up. Okay, so I can't really do it right now because he's walking this way with the wick. But right there should work. Yep, got it. There we go, so that's phase one. He starts here. You can wait for the little cake legs. It's really cute. They will actually go to the location where the daddy cake legs is. But it's the same location every single time. We know exactly where it's going to be. So we're going to go over here. Jump down. The next daddy cake legs location is right here next to the big stone door. So we only have one fire source this time. Put the trip shot here. Aim at the wick. This location is a little bit trickier. He has very, very bizarre movement in this location. I personally struggle with this one the most. We're gonna go ahead and put the trap here. That was incorrect. Put the trap back. There's no time here. You can try as much as you like. Ah, uh, this time he went backwards that way. No, no, this one. Got it. I usually refer to either this icicle or that one. The middle or the left ones are the best ones to go for. <laughs> the baby cake legs are here. No, 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 that's facing the wrong way. Ah, but that one would have worked. So that was a direct hit. I don't advise doing that. It's best to set the traps. So this location is just a little bit trickier. Especially once you've lit one of the wicks. Alright, once again, the baby cake legs are gonna go to the location of the daddy cake legs. You can either just follow them if you forget where daddy cake legs is, or you can just go there yourself. We already know where it's gonna be. It's the same location every time. This time it's on the far right side. So we're gonna go ahead and head in that direction. This one is extremely easy. You would think that the final location is the hardest. It's actually the easiest. It's very, very predictable. So we're gonna go ahead and ignite the wick. Okay, so you don't even need to look at it. This one's very easy. Set your trap, put it in between the third and fourth leaf of this tree, like the leaf section, and just wait. And it's going to intersect with it. Bam. And that will complete the fight. I gotta just walk up to it and net it. GG. And if you want to know what a daddy cake legs looks like in the petting zoo, let me go ahead and show you. So here we got the daddy cake legs. Oh my gosh, you he looks doing? so sad. Look at those eyes. He looks so depressed. Oh no, daddy cake legs. Let me pet you. I'll make you feel better. Daddy cake legs. Daddy cake legs. <laughs> I think that's daddy cake legs for please end my misery. Get me out of here. Help. <laughs> Does Gramble feed you enough? Are you treating him well? He doesn't look happy. W what do you feed him? <laughs> You're not answering me. <laughs> Come on. He does not look happy, the poor thing. <laughs> At any rate, there you have it. I've shown you how to catch every single bug snacked in this game and all the major areas. If you found these videos helpful, including this one, of course, make sure you don't forget to like and comment. I do upload new video every single day, so make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you never miss out. I also stream daily on Twitch starting at 12 p.m. Central and ending at 4 p.m. Central, so make sure you follow me there to catch when I'm live. Link is in the description. But that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you had fun, and I'll catch you next time.